Another thing that's added commonly to longer documents, not only do you have bibliographies and indexes and tables of contents, but you also have cover pages commonly added. So let's go to the beginning of the Magna Carta once again, Control Home, and let's add a cover page. To do so, click on the Insert tab of your ribbon, and in the Pages grouping here, you have a cover page selection. So a fully formatted cover page can be added with just two clicks. That's one click, select it, and there is the second click. So that, once again, as I zoom out here, or zoom, yeah, zoom out, I can add the title, Analysis of the Magna Carta, and the document subtitle. All I have to do is click and type by Brian. The author initials that is gotten from where? From your word options, which appear right there in the popular grouping. So again, we're dealing with fields. If we want to add additional fields, all we need to do is create some space for those fields. We can set an insertion point um, somewhere. Now we're dealing with uh, some pre-formatted items here. That's the year. If we want to change the cover page, we can go back and how about that? Or how about something like this? So if you want to add maybe a text box, all of that can be done very easily. If we want to add items like this, simple text box, can move it around. We can set an insertion point. We can add a field maybe. So insert a quick part, a field, and we can add the date or comments or the file name, whatever we want to. Bingo. So once again, easily done. Just click Add a cover page, fill in a few fields, and you're done. If you want to change your mind, you want to remove the cover page, you can do so very easily without affecting certainly any of the rest of the document just by using your cover page option once again and clicking on Remove Current Cover Page, and you're back to the way it was before.